Not going to, by the way, there is only one threat to your Akhirah account. There's only one threat. You know what that is? That is you, you show off or you bring up into any human being how you gave that money. It's called Al-Man wal adha Man, I gave that masjid. I gave you people $10,000. What have you done with it? Don't even listen to what I have to say. It's gone. Got nothing left in the Akhirah account. The quote underneath, you said, you brought it up to another human being and showed off about it or hurt other people's feelings about your charity. It is over. You get nothing in the Akhirah. So if you're going to write a big check, then be quiet. No expectations, no nothing. Just write it. It's between you and Allah and that's it. Otherwise, you could have bought a big, at least you could have bought a big screen TV or something. In dunya, you could have at least enjoyed it in dunya. You got no dunya and no akhira now. Nothing. What was the weakness? And, and you know, how will you alleviate that weakness? How will you alleviate that weakness? Kathratu dhikril maut wa qiraatul Qur'an. He says, remember death a lot? And do what? Recite Qur'an. The two things that will remove weakness from you will be remembrance of death and staying tied with revelation. In this surah, what was the problem mentioned of the Jews? The two things that were connected, one, they had a superficial relationship with their book, it was on their backs, and next, they're running from death. And the Prophet ﷺ says, you will face that weakness. SubhanAllah. Like one shoe compared to the other, we're gonna be like Bani Israel. Like one slipper compared to another slipper. SubhanAllah. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu. Now the, the Salat al-Jum'ah is being mentioned. And Salat al-Jum'ah is being mentioned very strategically. How do you remember death? And what is supposed to connect you to revelation? Individually I'm supposed to recite Qur'an. Individually I'm supposed to make Salat. But on a weekly level, on a weekly basis, Allah Azza wa Jal forced us to hold a convention. He institutionalized a convention. And this incredible convention you don't have to send flyers for it. You don't have to make a Facebook event out of it. You don't have to make phone calls to invite people. They will show up on their own. The religious ones, the not so religious ones. The knowledgeable ones, the not so knowledgeable ones. The practicing ones, the not so practicing ones. The young ones and the old ones. They will all show up on their own for those 20 minutes of a khutbah and then that salat. They'll just show up. Some late, some early, but they'll just show up in more numbers than anything else. In more numbers than any other event. Every single week the ummah holds a meeting. It's called Salat al-Jum'ah. You know, no other nation on earth has a con- congregation like that on a weekly basis. 